So yeah, here we go. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, so much damage. <laughs> Kuki is here and we have her in our hands. Now we did summon for Kuki already, but it's not really much here either. So we're going to be trying to get one Kuki Shinobu. I'm not trying to get a five star here. So if I do get a five star, it's definitely not intentional. Okay, that is a weapon that it's not looking good. Please. I do not have that many gems. So oh there we go, four star. Come on, please. Please, please, please. Yes! All right, we got Kuki Shinobu. I mean, that was the summons, you know, went well, kind of didn't, I don't know. But as long as we didn't get the five star yet. So we got Kuki Shinobu and we somewhat built her, not exactly the way that I wanted to, because I don't really have a tenacity of middle of the set or something good for her yet. So we're currently just giving her any type of career weapon. This is the battle pass weapon. And <laughs> let me just tell you, it it's so bad it, it's so bad because she does not benefit from this weapon at all in fact i would suggest if you are using kuki shinobu as a support you probably want to use maybe the Fulvonia sword or the sacrificial sword as well so i want, want, want a little bit of a weapon that helps the team right and in terms of artifacts i saw the tenacity of millith would probably be pretty good on her especially because this gives a p percentage increase as well as it helps with shield strength with whatever you want on your team so it might actually be good to have a four-piece set. Or you could run two-piece tenacity and maybe a two-piece noblesse in case you want your burst to do a little bit more damage. And here I have elemental mastery on my burst, so it's not even gonna do much there. My build is definitely scuffed right now. So <laughs> what we might end up doing is actually uh, trying to get a piece for Cookie, like one of these pieces. So we're going to go into a domain to try to get that. But for now this will do her current talents are 166 i don't think i'm going further than this just because i don't really know what i'm going to be doing with kuhishinobu just yet so i'm going to be leaving it at that her normal attacks don't even try building them they're so i feel like they're so useless they don't really benefit much from increasing your normal attack but her actual skills in that really do help with healing and if you guys want a really good healer, Kuki Shinobu is a healer, obviously. And you could do a pretty, pretty good stuff with it. And she gets 25% more rewards in it as well, which is nice. Her current stats aren't the greatest thing of all time. You can see the HP isn't that high. It should be at least 30,000 in my personal opinion. Her crit rate, her damage ratio is 58 to 82, which is pretty terrible. But uh, that is what we have currently. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this team right here and we are going to go into a domain to try to get the Noblesse Oblige set going. Did I say Noblesse? I definitely meant Nazir Miller, by the way, because that is the set we want on her anyway. So yeah, we can see how Kuki Shinobu performs in this domain. And we're going to see how well, you know, she fits with the teams and whatever. This shouldn't be a terrible team for her, I don't think. I mean, we're not gonna take that much damage anyway, but you know, if we do take damage, we, we can we can judge it. <laughs> Here we go. Boom. I see a lot of Electro, which is honestly really satisfying. Uh, but here we go. And we can just, you can see your normal attacks really don't do much, even at level one. So yeah, I, I really suggest avoiding, you know, building her. Unless you're building your physical, uh, yeah, ignore the whole thing with that. So yeah, here we go, look at that. <laughs> Ooh, so much damage. <laughs> she does like negative damage. <laughs> but she does heal a lot, so that is something nice. So if we wanted to actually test it out, we don't even need enemies to do this. We can see that her actual health does go down, but then you can see that she heals a lot. So. Which is, which is pretty cool and here we go we claim the rewards oh actually we didn't get condensed resin probably should do that here we go our first set boom Ooh. oh crit damage actually we might keep that anyway we took some damage so what we were gonna do switch to kuki go back switch to uh yaimiko and there we go we're healing <laughs> it's almost like a barbara heal but in a much better scale because she actually does a little bit of damage. 
So that <laughs> that's something to compare to, I guess. A double artifact for 20 res. Just do it. Just do it for fun. Just do it for fun. Just do it. Okay. It'll be a good time. Uh oh. That is definitely not what we want, but I mean if we get a Yula please that'd be pretty cool as well. So even like after she, you know, does the thing and inflicts damage to herself, um she heals it really fast anyway. So that's pretty cool. Alright, we got <laughs> uh, we got two of the opposite sets that we need, so definitely not something we want here, but we could have a four star maybe that we want? Nope, that's defense. I mean, that's HP percentage. Maybe, maybe we could use one of these. All right, our last piece of condensed resin being used right now. So hopefully we get some good stuff obtained. Oh, okay, okay. This feather could have potential. Oh, no HP percentage on it, which is not something we want to see, to be honest with you. Okay, so we could probably potentially change this piece up and uh have the tenacity of the middle one you know to that degree because we mainly focus on the hp percentage with cookie but i think it's okay oh we got flat hp definitely not something we want to see but it does help out with the bit of hp that we need and uh, she she doesn't really need much she's a healer so she doesn't need too much she has a healing bonus that's an 18.2 percent on defense so she probably won't die <laughs> there we go we got some crit rate which is nice that's a maximum roll i think 3.9 percent really good we do 10.5 percent on the critical rate oh actually a decent piece here now we have a two-piece monolith and two-piece of the noblesse it's not too shabby for now. I mean, this works for a nice thing with Kuki Shinobu is that you can pretty much put her on any team that we do. You would put a healer. And if you need some super conduct, that would work really well. So if you want to put her on the Eula team, although I would still suggest using Diana over Kuki on that team. So maybe not the best decision there. But any healer that you need, maybe she's, she's actually a pretty potentially good healer. She wants to use her elemental skill. All you need to do is just, you know, place it on any other character. She applies Electro, she does the healing, which is pretty fast, if you guys can see on your screen. And uh, I think she's a decent healer, to be honest. Um, she has potential to do some damage if you guys have like a million HP. So uh, if you guys do do that and you have a build like that, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be so interested to find out what kind of builds that you guys have. Let me know. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's going to be pretty much it. Have you guys summoned for Kuki Shinobu? If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel as well if you guys liked it. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.